Hello everybody, and welcome to Funky Buddha Brewery here in Oakland Park, Florida. My name is Jacob Meredith. I'm a banquet captain here. Uh, right now I'm standing in our tap room, one of the largest in the states of Florida. We're going to take you on a tour today behind the scenes so you can see our brew house in action, see what it takes to make all of our delicious beers, and check out some of the aspects of our warehouse. Follow me and we'll go ahead and get this party started. Alrighty everybody, so here we are in our brew house. Here at Funky Buddha Brew, we run on a 30 barrel system. What that means is basically we produce about 60 kegs of beer for every batch that we make. Um, we have 24 fermenters in here varying in size, as well as five bright tanks and a smaller three and a half barrel pilot system. This we use to brew smaller batch beers or tap room exclusives, such as our Berries and Queens, which was brewed exclusively by the women of Funky Buddha, or our Fire in the Hole, which is a raspberry habanero red ale. So behind me here, this is where it all gets really started. We take our grain, which is a huge part of the beer making process. Beer, if you guys don't know, has four main ingredients. We have water, we have malt, hops, and yeast. All right, so from here, we're gonna head into our grain room. As I mentioned earlier, grain plays a huge part in the production of beer. It affects things such as the body, the flavor, and the aroma of the beer. So it's something that we really need to take pride in and make sure that we have the highest quality of ingredients. Usually with our malt, the darker the malt, the bitterer the beer is gonna be, the darker the beer is gonna be. Whereas your lighter malt, like your Pilsner malt, which serves as a base for most of our beers, this provides a lighter profile, a lighter color, and a lighter flavor. So as you can see here, we have all of our different types of grains, whether it's our regular white wheat malt, which is our Pilsner malt, or our flaked wheat, which kind of lends itself to hazy IPAs and gives it that pillowy effect. And so malt is really where it all gets started. We want to crush that down into what is called grist. This allows us to really get the beer making process started. Uh, so these malt, they contain sugars, which allow the yeast to turn um, those sugars into CO2 and alcohol. So right now we're going to head over into our mill room. This is basically the start of the process for our grain. This is where we will heat up the grain a little bit to activate those enzymes that eventually allow these complicated starches to be broken down into simple sugars for our yeast. We take our bags of grain and we drop them right in here where they travel up this tubing into this machine. This is where they'll get heated up before they get it transferred to be crushed and turned into wort. Right here, you have the beginning of our system where we turn our malt into what is called wort. Wort is a, a sweet liquid that is the base of all beer. It's basically what you get before you ferment beer and, and add yeast into the process. So here, we crush our grain, we add water, steep it almost like a coffee, and it goes through our Whirlpool system here, where it gets cooled down before we turn it into one of our fermenters. So once our beer has gone through the Whirlpool, and it's nice and cool, it'll get transferred into one of these 24 fermenters that we have in-house. Depending on the style of the beer and how much of it we want to make, these bad boys can be loaded up up to three times to create 90 barrels. And they'll spend about anywhere from 10 days to 21 days in these tanks, fermenting depending on what kind of beer it is, if it's an ale or a lager. Most of the beers we brew here at Funky Buddha Brewery are ales, which means that they take less time to ferment. Now, once we get through with these fermentation tanks, we take the beer and we put them over here in our bright tank. This is where beer will get carbonated and in the final process before getting packaged and sent out to our customers. Also, while the beer is spending some time in the bright tanks, we might send it into one of these smaller treatment tanks here. This is where if you've had any one of our beers, such as our No Crust, 
Um, this is where all that magic really happens. We put all the flavors in these smaller tanks and the beer will just get ran over that over and over again until you get those beautiful flavors you're looking for, such as the peanut butter and the jelly in our no crust brown ale. Now, not every fermentation tank we have here holds 60 or 90 barrels of beer. Some of them, especially for our small batches, will only hold about four barrels of beer at a time. Um, and again, these small batch beers are for, you know, tap room use only, really limited release, but it just gives the people that come here a little bit extra taste of what we can bring to the table. So as we come through here after the fermentation tank, we will run our beers through our filtration system over here. So what we have is a series of screens and a series of filters that allows the beer to run through and we'll just collect all those contaminants, all those big pieces of you know yeast or malt or whatever got left behind. And just in case that wasn't enough, we'll come through and after we pass through these filters, go into our centrifuge. And what that does is we'll spin this beer really, really, really quick that allows all those solids to get separated. That way we have beer that is exactly as clear as we want it to be or as hazy as we want it to be for you guys to enjoy. Now, an important part of the beer making process here at Funky Buddha is our lab and quality control. They make sure that everything about the beer is perfect and ready to go for you guys, the consumers. The main thing that we do here in the quality control lab is to monitor the fermentation process of our beers. We also test for alcohol content, bitterness, color and clarity. We also, of course, test for the taste, so we do drink a little bit. Another thing that we've started doing here at Funky Buddha is implementing a sensory room. So it's just a quick lurk inside of our sensory room. Here, as you can see, we have individualized cubicles to make sure that our testers are focused on the beer and they can make sure that they pick out every little detail. We have a little window here where the beer will get slid through and that allows them to stay focused on that beer. There's no extra distraction and we can pick out even the tiniest detail that's missing. Now at this point, we're, kind of, we're reaching the final stages of our beer. We've come out of the fermentation tanks, we've treated it, it's gone in the bright tanks and gotten some nice carbonation, so it's ready to go. The next step for us is bottling. We have a nice bottling line ready to go that we are still running since we opened. This bad boy came into us from Italy about six years ago when we first opened and it's a do-it-all tool. From the beginning over here, bottles come in and they get labeled with both the neck label and the body label. And then they come down over into here where the true magic really happens. amazing what technology can do for us, right? As you see here, the bottles are upside down, getting rinsed and sanitized before being sent on their way to our filler. And finally, at the end over here, we have the capper. This machine can push out up to 120 bottles a minute. We run it out about 100 because we do still hand package here, but still 100 bottles a minute is no joke. Now, if we look over here really quick, this is our beer transfer system. It's very important that during the whole process, the beer doesn't really get exposed to any oxygen. Oxygen can lead to off flavors in beer, which are not really pleasant to experience. So we make sure that from the time that beer starts in the tank until it gets in the bottle, there is no oxygen touching this beer whatsoever. And that includes using this beer transfer to get it from our bright tank into the bottle. It's very important that everything we do here make sure that keeps the beer fresh, cold, and ready to go for consumption. The beer is tested both at the beginning and at the end of the process by our lab staff, even here in the bottling line, to make sure that nothing can contaminate this beer before it gets to you guys, the customers. One of the newest additions to our brew house is this beautiful pegging line over here. This was put in about a year, year and a half ago. And it has the same concept as our bottling line, right? It's a do-it-all tool that makes life for us here at the brewery a lot easier. Over here at the beginning of the process, we'll load up our keg. And from here, they will, again, get rinsed, sanitized, filled, and sent on their way to the other end of this line over here. At the other end of it, we do have a vacuum that helps us load up these beers because these kegs are heavy once you get 15 gallons of beer in those bad boys. So to keep things safe for our, for our staff, 
We do have a vacuum that helps pick up these beers off the line and palletize them for you guys ready to go. Now the next part of this tour, and my personal favorite, is our barrel room. We have a very, very large and extensive barrel program here at Funky Buddha, and we use all kinds of barrels, ranging from bourbon barrels, which are classic in the beer scene, to tequila barrels, uh, as well as both red wine barrels and white wine barrels. We also, thanks to our parent company, Constellation Brands, we were able to even get our hands on some nice Opus One Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. Now these barrels each play a different role in what we do with our beer and have a different effect on what that beer tastes like. All these barrels are of course oak, but each one of them plays a different role in how we make our beer. For example, bourbon barrels, they will hold a lot of darker beers and things like that and tend to lead into higher ABV, chocolatey, nice creamy vanilla notes on those beers. Whereas if you take something like a tequila barrel, we might put a sour style or a lighter ale in there that will not necessarily stay in there as long, but will impart some more fruitiness to go along with those sour beers. Right over here, as you can see, we have our nice dreaming tree barrels. These currently have a nice Saison in them. Um, as many of you may know, our undefeated Saison, which should be coming out very soon, is a farmhouse style ale that we then brew in Chardonnay barrels to get some nice fruity notes on there, such as apples, peaches, pears, things like that. So one of the newest things that we've added to our lineup this year is the Funky Buddha Hard Seltzers. So this is a premium hard seltzer made with blue agave and real cane sugar. And it's something that we're really proud to have in our lineup this year. It comes in four different flavors, all something that you really, you know, unique flavors that you're not gonna find in other packaging. So check those out. They're gonna be in any Publix in the state of Florida. Uh, you come into our tap room to get some, find them in your local liquor stores, wherever the case may be, but definitely check it out. So this is something that we recently added to our lineup and just makes it easier to keep that beer nice and fresh for you guys, right? The beer is gonna go straight from our packaging line, straight from our kegging line into this massive cooler. And from here, we're right into the distribution truck. We're here at a nice, cool 38 degrees Fahrenheit at all times, which is proper beer temp to make sure that that beer stays nice and fresh. It's a little chilly in here for me, but for this beer, this is like paradise. On our final stop here on our tour of Funky Buddha, is our banquet room. This is a room that I hold very near and dear to my heart as this is where I will normally work when we're open for our regular business. We do everything in here from private events to weddings, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs. You wanna have your corporate meeting here? Come on down, we have AV capabilities. This is something that we opened up uh, four years ago here at Funky Buddha and we have grown ever since. Including the barrel room that you guys saw earlier, we did about 47 weddings here last year and hoping to just expand on that as we go. One of the best and most popular features of this room, of course, aside from the bottling line lights, is our art wall, featuring artwork from our original location, as well as some things you'll still find on bottles here today. And as for me, folks, that's all I got here for you today. I hope you enjoyed having this tour here with me through our brew house and through our warehouse, getting a sneak peek at what it's like in the operations here at Funky Buddha Brewery. So from all of us here at the Buddha, we wanna wish you a funky day Come on down, have a beer, say hi to our staff, and most importantly, keep it funky.